Number five then from paper two of the 2018 National Five. Then we go to the standard deviation questions. You like it and at the same time you don't because you know you've got to make those big tedious statements at the end of it. Still, you quite like it because you know exactly what to do here. This is the number of customers visiting a farmer's market on a Saturday. You have to get for four marks the mean and standard deviation. Well, I've already started the table off here. I like to put them in order, but of course don't need to. So if that's the column X, the first thing I'm going to do is add up these numbers. To get the total of the X's, which lets me work out the mean. The mean will be 756 divided by 6. Which is 126. So when it comes to the next column, X minus the mean. You're taking 126 from each of them. So that's 6 below, that's 2 below, that's 1 below, that's bang on, that's 4 above, and that's 5 above. A little check usually is make sure they come to 0. Now, that part of the formula for the standard deviation, you want the square of these then. So that's 36, 4, 1, 0, 16, 25. You could use a calculator. They're not that bad. 10, 22, 82. Now that's sigma, that in the formula, so I can just put those numbers straight into the square root. It's 82 and it says over n minus 1, so that means over 5. Now I'll need to use a calculator. And that comes to 4.049 and so on. And then checking with a comparison what its standard deviation looks like. It's got one decimal place, so I'll give this one one decimal place. Right, that's part A. Now part B. It gives you the mean and the standard deviation on the Sunday. I'll just put them over here. On the Sunday it was 117. And on the Sunday it was 6.2. Now you've got to make two valid comments comparing them. Oh. So the comments are one, something about what the mean stands for and something about what the standard deviation stands for. That means you have to mention mean and average and standard deviation and spread or possibly consistency and also justifying it numerically. Right, here we go. On Sunday, there were fewer customers on average as the mean, 117, is less than the 126. So to mentioning the things. Average is measured by the mean, and that justifies your statement about them being less. No standard deviation. On Sunday, the customers were more spread out. Well, you could say less consistent. As the standard deviation, 6.2, is greater than 4.0 on Saturday. Sometimes you think, if you're going to do well in the paper, oh, I'll just leave that and they can have those two marks. Number six then. A function is defined as f of x is five plus four x. That means whatever you put in, it does five plus four times what you put in. Given that f of a is 73, what's a for two marks? Well, if you put in a, then what this function will do is, it'll do 5 plus 4a. And that gives the result 73. So you've got a wee baby equation to solve then. Take that 5 across and subtract it. That'll be 68. Take that 4 across and divide it. And that'll be 17.